Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, interesting that they may or may not have been better at discerning the weather back then than we are now. Uh, actually, I, I was thinking about this this gospel, and and you know, it used to be that the average person probably had some ability to say, eh, it's going to be cold today or hot. And now, you know, I remember a few weeks ago, I was out on the boat fishing, and there's like a big dark cloud about to rain on us, but I'm like, you know, looking at my phone, it's not going to rain. And it's like, it's going to rain. <laughs> we're, we're more abstracted from even nature than, than they once were, and, and we're being invited into this deeper relationship with reality than even nature gives us that being the the drama of salvation and and really striving as saint paul says to be this this people of unity and peace he's (coughs) he's met jesus and he's come to understand what what life is all about And as he's writing this letter to the Ephesians, very brief, extremely powerful, he's he's interested in them not simply having head knowledge about Jesus, but integrating this awareness of his saving power into every dimension of their lives. He's reconciled the cosmos, true, not for its own sake, but so that he can reconcile you to your, to your spouse, to your kids, so you can reconcile you to yourself. And this is where Jesus is saying in this sort of cryptic statement about settling on the way to court, where we want to be reconciled. So when we're called at whatever moment that is to, to, to be in the judgment seat, to, to be sort of confronted with our lives, we're not necessarily going to show a, 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 a you know, bouquet of beautiful flowers, but we're, we're going to, to be able to honestly say, I was yours. You know, this, we, we talked yesterday. We talked the day before yesterday. I talk to you all the time. I love you with everything I have. I've been striving to love my neighbor and my wife and my or my husband and my my kids and 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 then the Lord says, "Well done, my good and faithful servant." Not necessarily that well done, but He understands that we were cooperating because we were His, and that's what it means to to really live in these crazy times well. Because the times are always crazy. There's always confusion about what is really true and good and beautiful. When we listen to others, instead of listening to His voice in our hearts. So as the people who belong to Him, as the church, in our in our drama of certainly of this mass but in our homes you know are we striving begging more than striving because that's that's actually a important tension it's not about us it's about him it's about our really using allowing our desires to be stirred for his kingdom to come into the home into the into the marriage into the neighborhood starting with us. Beg for that grace so that when um, whenever that that moment of of judgment comes we can with confidence hand our lives over to the one who we've already handed our lives over to our good God and our Savior, Jesus Christ.